two wingmen in that last quarter of an hour or so. They looked a good proposition. Let's hope they can keep that going now during this period of extra time. I'm just wondering, Brian, if both sides have brought both subs on, because I know Tottenham have. No, uh, Anderlecht can still bring one on. It's Galvin now. And now it's Hazard. And now it's Galvin, who's got Danny Thomas outside him. Crossed by Thomas, the great away. That could be a corner, and it is. Clumsy play there by the Anderlecht defence. A concentration wavered just for a moment. Spurs were at their throats and have a corner. Good time to have a corner just at the start of uh, extra time. Hazard will take it. Deep one. And put it down by Falco, and somehow they got it away. And Falco, no! Archibald was right in there, Falco was in there, Artinas was right in there, and in the end, the whistle had gone. I'm loath to say anybody should score because it's very, very difficult. Archibald could have scored. Funeron flaps at it, and misses, and it just goes agonizing, just fractionally out of uh, the reach of Steve Archibald. Good jump by Roberts. Touch by Falco. Here's Ardenas, the crowd encouraging him, and he in turn encouraging Falco with that cross. They claim handball. The referee says no, and the ball is with Chris Hughton. Roberts blasting it forward again. Let's try it on the right, but Galvin won't get that. It'll be a goal kick. A goal kick rather to be taken by Walter de Greef. Stevens with the header. And one by Van der Eiken. Now Schifo. Flicked on again for Cherniatinsky. Stevens is back. Roberts. Has it. for Archibald in turn can he find Falco the referee has blown for a free kick so it's a free kick to Anderlecht for some shoving by Mark Falco Stevens getting it away Roberts. Has it to Hutton. And Roberts. Carter. Now Olsen. Shifo. A Carter. Good spell this by Anderlecht. And a good break for Carter now making the extra man. A good cross coming in towards Olsen again. And Shifo. Oh my word. And Johnson stuck his foot out. If he'd been on his feet and a yard closer to the goal, it would have been a simple tap in. But again, it was Morton Olsen, the big Dane from the back, who came up and made a very, very important header. Ardenas, looking his way through, down he goes, it's a free kick. Hazard, Thomas. Again, it's away to the Johnson. Off 
Watkins to Cheniatinsky. Has it again. But Johnson's after him. Free kick to Tottenham, already taken. Has it on the ball. Galvin's away on this right flank. A lovely ball by Hazard, straight to his feet. Crowd urging Galvin to get down that flank. We've been a good cross, but Muma wants there. One into the other. A counter now for Anderlecht. Jenny Atinsky on the far side. And in the end, no problems for Parks. The Swede was going forward, Brian, that much. He nearly created a goal two or three minutes ago. And he's in an out outside right position then, and he was annoyed with his colleague who took a rather silly shot at this stage of the game. Thomas. Hazard. Marty ball after this one, but there's that sweeper again, number 10. North Nelson right back, the deepest man. Hopkins. Through outside him. Good Johnson. But in the end, he ran into Roberts. Marty balls. Free kick given. Not surprised we don't hear the whistle in this noise. Calvin. Letting fly and Munaron had to suddenly die very quickly down by the post. Spitting across that turf, a good shot by Tony Galvin. But now Van der Eiken for Anderlecht. For Catherine. Martinez stopping him, supported by Hazard. Offside against Archibald. That's extraordinary. Couldn't have been more than two yards inside the uh, Anderlecht half. The temptation to play a through ball against sides that play offside is very, very great. But there's nobody caused the Belgians more trouble than Tony Galvin. So if they can just get it to him at every opportunity. There's the captain getting it through and good Johnson. Hopkins outside him. Slipped in towards Jenny Atinsky, but it was a poor one. Believe it or not, this is only the second corner that Anderlecht have had in the whole of the game. It will be taken by Frankie Pagalharan. Jenny Atinsky in there. Suddenly, Van der Eiken's made a break from the back, but Roberts, very, very dependable, is there again. De Grave. Good Johnson. Schifo's made the break this time. But Putin, oh, not really getting it away very well. Schifo spraying it wide to Fakata and the captain. And a cross coming in. And Stevens in the end. Just happy to put it behind for the corner. Beautiful way to cross by him. Defenders have nightmares with crosses like that. Well, let's hope Spurs don't get a nightmare from this corner to be taken by Good Johnson. With about nine minutes of the first period of extra time gone. The score won one tonight, 2-2 two -two on aggregate. Here's Good Johnson with the corner for Anderlecht. Played. Well, De Gruyter's cross quite easily cut out by Cox. The flag had gone up, I think, in any case, for an offside. Danny Thomas for Tottenham. Ozzy Erbilis. And now Mike Hazard. Dick on the far side. Hewton has gone outside him. Crown disappointed that he lost it there. The Carteran. Now Cheney Atinsky against Stevens. And Stevens gets it back. Good ball to Dick. Nothing much going for Ali Dick at the moment. <laughs> Play on, said the referee. 
Cheliotinsky finds Good Johnson. Five minutes of the first period of extra time remaining. And Galvin in possession for Tottenham. Good play. Except in the ends. And it's a free kick. Adilas. Roberts. He's caused a bit of chaos, and he's left a bit of space for Dick. But the cross wasn't quite good enough, trying to whip in across towards Archibald. Ardelis couldn't stop that one, and here's Shifo for Anderlecht. Onside, Czerniotinski again, but good defending there by Stevens. Just accelerated when he needed it. Oh, some conferences there in the Anderlecht bench in the white raincoat. Their manager, Paul Van Himst. Galvin crossed in. Shot in the back, surely. Well, Jenny Atinsky, I think, making quite a meal of it. There's no doubt he was shoved in the back by Stevens, though. It'll be an Anderlecht free kick, and it's taken. For Cowtron, with Archibald after him. De Gruyter. De Johnson. Olsen. Newton getting that one away. De Gruyter. Van der Eiken. And stopped by Roberts. Well, Keith Birkinshaw was saying yesterday when he announced the side, Roberts is the captain. He's the sort of fella who drives other players on and never lets his head drop. I think it's Brother who's coming on for and the left. But at the moment, it's Roberts and the Johnson right back. A goal kick. Ricky Muller on to take it. And now taking off Czerny Atinsky and Brilla, another Dane comes on. I think he scored from a penalty against you, didn't he, uh, Brian Brilla? He certainly did. He'll never get a lucky one. A minute and a half to go to the end of the first period of extra time. Thomas, Falco, Hazard, Roberts, gathering speed, oh, taking some stopping, finds Archibald, the shot, straight at the people again. Such strength about the man. Going past all challenges, eventually gets it to Archibald. Coming towards Brulla, but Stevens is there. Both sides now have committed themselves to their substitutes. No more allowed. Stevens within a whisker of getting through, but it just hit Grun. And now for Cowperin. Hopkins, here's the sweeper, Olsen. Just about the first mistake he's made all night. Hazard. 
Can Galvin keep it in? He can. Hit some good balls tonight to Hazard. Thomas. Tiredness out there. Must be incredible at the moment. But Galvin getting that one in and Luna on grabbing it. It was a funny little bounce there just in front of him. And the first period of extra time is over. 2-2 two -two on aggregates. 1-1 one -one tonight. Cherniatinsky having put Anderlecht into the lead. Graham Roberts having scored right at the end of normal time to make it 1-1. One -one. And if in the next 15 minutes then nobody makes a mistake and we stay as we are, we go into penalties. It's Grun. That really is a totally dramatic way to win a cup and a devastatingly cruel way to lose one. Archibald. Adilis. Can Hazard get there? Thomas can. Back to Stevens. There's Olsen, the sweeper. He's the man that causes so much trouble for Spurs. And this time he's found good Johnson. And Roberts, who had a magnificent game at the back, gets it away once more. And a long shot there by Grun. And I'm not sure if the goalkeeper saw it quickly enough. Young Parks wasn't quite sure about that. Hit from a long way out. Catherine. Still anybody's UEFA Cup. And an offside against Brula. <laughs> Free kick for Tottenham. Danny Thomas. Johnson. Didn't mean to go that way, but it did. And Spurs get possession with Hewton and now with Hazard. The Calderon. Shifo. Olsen. Here he comes again. And a good cross coming in, but it's not good enough. Hazard for Tottenham. Archibald trying to flick it on, but Falco just hadn't got the legs to get after it. Kick. Adilas. They put down again. It's another free kick. Stevens, Thomas, Archibald just trying to flick it on and trying to readjust himself to get a shot in. It's our dealers jinking about there. And he's found Dick, the kick's offside. Flag was up. To Johnson for Anderlecht. Mark Nelson. Shifo. And the whistle is gone again. Well, if you've just tuned in and you're 
not expecting to see football. Let me remind you that it's the UEFA Cup final, which has gone to extra time. It's 1-1 tonight, 2-2 on aggregate. And, of course, we shall be staying right to the very end. We now have, in fact, 10 minutes of extra time left. If the score stays the way they are, we should then go into penalties to decide this final. But at the moment, it's Galvin, and he couldn't just winkle the ball through to Archibald. Galvin, in fact, is down. Whether it's cramp or whether he's got an injury, I don't know, but they've just about run themselves out. Just about all of them. Not Ali Dick, because he's only just come on. That's obstruction there by Hopkins. And it's a free kick for Tottenham. Galvin is still down. I would think already it's begun to cross the players' minds that unless this can be resolved, they're going to face this desperate business of penalties, Brian. And, and desperate is the word. It'll be an ordeal um, to such the extent. Uh, It'll be the first time since I finished playing football if this game goes into penalties that I'm glad I'm not a player. Well, Galvin is on his feet. And I don't think there'd be many millions watching at the moment would swap places with these players if it came to stepping up to take a vital penalty. Maybe it won't come to that. Here's a free kick which our dealers will take for Tottenham. Finds Archibald. But then De Graaf, but the whistle had gone. A free kick to Anderlecht. And certainly not from there. Certainly think our British referees have now got very much worked into their system, the ability to play an advantage which keeps a game so much more a spectacle for the public and flowing that much more, which this West German tonight really hasn't done. Thomas. Again, the Anderlecht back four are forward, and again, they fought at least three Tottenham front men offside. Ardiles and Falco and Dick. Nobody's done more work than him uh, that's just played that free kick from him, the number 10. Doesn't he more awesome. running? Yes. Yeah, he'll get in the derby. An incredible amount of uh, running he's done tonight. Well, we know all about him, and Bobby Robson would certainly know all about him. He played such a big part in Denmark against England in those European Championship uh, games. And he's just signed for another year with Anderlecht. They'll be delighted about that. I want another bite at him next season. I want another bite at this lot next season. At, against Anderlecht. Well, you've qualified for UEFA. And there's Sport Nelson. You'd like to have another bite at him. But for a moment, there might be a misunderstanding between Roberts and Stevens. But happily for Spurs, it didn't happen. About seven minutes of extra time remaining. Only Spurs can do it. But at the moment, they face an Anderlecht free kick. Spurs have never played a Belgian side in European competition before. I certainly remember the first one. Dick getting in and doing well, persevering and getting the ball back from Archibald, but then Hopkins was there. Ardiles concedes the free kick. And the referee allowing it to be taken quickly. It's with Schifo. And now with De Groote. Newton away, comes for Dick, and all the pass didn't get through to Falco. It's a lazy old pass, which I think again illustrates the exhaustion that most of those players are feeling at the moment, Brian. Tiredness induced that. That's what happens when you get to the end of any match, never mind extra time. 
tiredness induces you to do all types of things which you normally wouldn't do. But when you think about it, if we come to the penalties, imagine stealing yourself for that when you're physically and mentally just about exhausted. Well, there's De Groter. Thomas. They stay on side. He's picked up Ali Dick and he's offside. They haven't beaten the offside trap once in point of fact, have they tonight? No, they, they, they've just played it fractionally too slowly, uh, the ball. If you, to beat an offside trap, you do it two ways. You play it first time or you play it wide. Here comes Olsen again for Anderlecht. Got to be stopped. Played in early. Five for Carteron, but it's a goal kick for Tottenham. Five minutes of extra time remaining. 1-1 the score tonight, 2-2 the score on aggregate. A shove again and a free kick to Anderlecht. we haven't even mentioned yet is that if we do come to penalties and it's beginning to look that way that the Spurs goalkeeper Tony Parks just 21 years old one of the least experienced fellows on that Tottenham side suddenly can become an absolute hero Couldn't hold it. He caught and got it back. But unfairly against Shifo, it's a free kick against Randlett. The nine for the Belgian comes in. He's only 18. He's lasted the pace a lot more than I thought. That's the 18-year-old Shifo. Mm. This is Archibald. And Spurs got a throw. Tell you something else. I bet the referees thought about the penalties as well because that's... A real problem for him, keeping players in the centre circle and keeping the score and everything else. We thought about it as well, Brian, keeping the score and making sure we try and get it. each kick right on the button. Hey, we'll keep our fingers crossed if it gets to penalties because we can't lose. We'll get another five million people tuning in. <laughs> right, well, let's see if it comes to that. It's Shifo at the moment for Anderlecht. And we're left with about a couple of minutes of extra time. Well, the crowd you can hear, come on you Spurs, one last big effort. So little time left now. De Graef with the header for Anderlecht. Ardelius with the touch for Tottenham. Roberts now. Calvin kept that in well. Thomas. Archibald again, but beaten by Hopkins. Hewton going in. Now we'll get to this one. He's got Falco waiting in the middle if he can get it across. And he's got the corner right at the end. Referee's looking at his watch. Now, can Spurs even at this late stage snatch the cup and avoid the business of penalties? Ali Dick with the corner. Our deal is on the goal line. Everybody up from the back. Hit long and hard towards Galvin and Tony Galvin. A little chip back in there again towards Archibald. Is it going to be there? No, Stevens couldn't get the touch that mattered either. And they just couldn't force it home. Thomas, though, trying to get round Morton Olsen. And the referee has said there was a shove on the Anderlecht number 10. 
up and down off that bench. You can imagine the agonies they're going through. Keith Birkinshaw will certainly remember his last competitive match here. I just hope we get a chance to see that corner again because the uh, angle at defenders are stationary when it's up in the air on occasions. They're not quite sure who to, who to mark and whether to go for the ball or not. Well, I think the time is just about up now. Referee's looking at linesman and at watch. Whistle is in the mouth. That's the end of extra time. And ladies and gentlemen, we now have penalties. And there are Spurs players who are flat on the ground. It's flat out there, is it? No, it's Mike Hazard. Now, what a procedure. Everybody who is not actually taking penalties has to go into the center circle. Five penalties from each side. And the man of the moment for Tottenham, well, has got to be Tony Parks there, Ray Clements. Well, Tony Parks has benefited from a lot of advice from Ray Clements over this season. And now it's got to mean something. You saw Garth Brooks give Tony Parks a little hug of encouragement. And at the other end, Mooneron is saying, I don't know whether he's calling for a stiff drink or not, but the Belgians there are saying, good luck to you, old son. Jimmy Greaves, would you fancy taking a pen yourself now? Well, he also saved a penalty in the in an earlier round of this competition against uh, Spartak Moscow that won the tie for Anderlecht. That's right. <laughs> the wrong. Actually, I've seen a couple of finals decided by penalties. Arsenal, of course, lost a Cup Winners' Cup final against Valencia in Brussels on missed penalties. I've also seen Czechoslovakia win a European Championship in 1976 against West Germany, also on penalties. And there are times when you can hardly bear to watch. Brian Clough. First experience for me, penalties in the European competition. I'll be interested in if you can, the lad, can just get on the faces of the people who are standing in the centre circle who are going to take the uh, penalty, sir. Because you'll see everything mirrored in their faces. I think there'll be a few there hoping that they haven't got to take a penalty. I think it's all decided now who's taking them and who yes. isn't. But if it's still level after five penalties each, it goes on until... The until somebody misses and the other side score. Well, the two keepers are the key figures and Graham Roberts is going forward to take the first penalty for Tottenham. Five each side, remember. And my word, they want to make everyone count. Well, Roberts, who has scored once, will now want to give a captain's example. Graham Roberts against Jackie Mooneron. And he has scored. So that's great relief for him. Now, forward comes Morton Olsen. And he now has to put one past Tony Parks. In goes Parks. Here comes Olsen. And the keeper 
for Anderlecht has to get outside the penalty area. Booze from the Tottenham crowd. Not an easy job for the ice cool Olsen. Can he beat Fox? Saved it! What a moment and a moment for him. Now, it's not over yet. It's not over yet. Five for each side, remember. Well, Tony Fox, what a moment of glory. He went the right way and pushed it away. Mark Falco now. What a psychological boost. If he can now put one past Munaroff. Now, Falco. Score! 2-0. With Bruna, the Dane, coming forward now for Anderlecht. And the Belgian manager, Paul Van Hintz, knowing the pressures on his team. Just imagine if Tony Parks can save this one as well. It's Brilla to take it. He scored. 2-1 to Tottenham. Gary Stevens comes forward next for Tottenham. I'll tell you something. There are a few players that aren't going to watch. There may be one or two fans who dare not watch. And there may be one or two of you at home who dare not watch. But it's Gary Stevens now. Score! 3-1. The pressure still on Adelaide. And it's the 18-year-old Enzo Schifo who comes forward now. Munaron unhappy about something. But what about this now? Now, this is a test for an 18-year-old, if ever you like. Enzo Schifo. That's how big the goal is. But I tell you, to Shifo, it'll look about half that size. And Parks will look double his size. Now, can he do it? Yes, he can. As cool as you like. 3-2. Spurs still have the advantage. And forward now comes Steve Archibald. Keith Birkinshaw basically two successful penalty kicks away from taking the UEFA Cup final. Now, Archibald against Munaron. What value for money tonight? Dare not miss. And he has it. So, four to two. And now, Frankie Vakauteran. The captain of Anderlecht. Looking to make it 4-3. And it will mean... Well, let's not worry about what it will mean for the moment. Let's see whether he can score and whether Parks can save. So, 4-3. It means that if little Danny Thomas can score, that'll make it 5-3 and Spurs could not be caught. Well, Van Himst, the Anderlecht manager, Munaron, the Anderlecht goalkeeper, and Danny Thomas, if he scores, no! And they're dancing for joy in the Anderlecht camp, and it's 4-3. And Graham Roberts going across to console Danny Thomas. That would have won the cup. And poor Danny. And the Spurs crowd are shouting, there's only one Danny Thomas to keep his spirits up. Well, let's see. Maybe Tony Parks will pull off another side. Good Johnson from Iceland. He's the man taking it. He saved it! 
Spurs have won it! Tony Parks is the hero! Fantastic scenes here! And Keith Blackenshaw finished his career at Tottenham with a European trophy. What an unbelievable scene and what a good sporting moment there for Morton Olsen to congratulate the Spurs manager. Tony Parks with two penalty saves. What a moment. 21-year-old goalkeeper. Born in Hackney just around the road. A Spurs fan through and through into the side. And there's consolation for Anderlecht. A brilliant night of dramatic football. You won't see many like that. And a nice sporting finish as well. Well, the photographers are surrounding the Tottenham hero, Tony Parks, and no wonder. Good grief. The smile as broad as White Hart Lane. Spurs and Anderlecht both lined up now. And here comes Graham Roberts. A big cup. A beautiful smile. And Spurs have won the UEFA Cup. Yes, it's a heavy cup to carry after so much effort for Spurs right through the night. Danny Thomas, it looked like a night of disaster for him and suddenly it's a night of triumph. Mike Hazard who's had a tremendous game in the midfield. A lap of honour, Steve Perryman lifts the cup for Spurs captain who was out through suspension. <laughs> 